Hi, this is Sean here at JTech. Today we're going to be checking out a whole entire hydraulic system and how to inspect it. Okay, first thing you want to make sure is that you don't have any chafing lines. Make sure they're not seeping any hydraulic oil or anything else of that nature. No splinters, not rubbing on anything. <clears throat> also check your ends. Make sure they are not leaking any hydraulic oil. Alright, so from there you want to check out your control valve and basically just make sure there's no puddles around it, make sure it's not leaking up underneath, it's uh, wherever it's bolted to, and that's it for that. Next you want to climb up underneath the trunk to check your PTO. You'll have to climb up underneath and there's a couple of things up underneath here that you want to check out. First of all, there's your filter and housing. This one's really, really dirty, but it's not leaking anything, any hydraulic oil anywhere. It's just covered in dirt and mud. This truck goes through a lot of a lot of things. While you're up underneath here, there's also lines, as you can tell, all over the place. You can want to check those. Make sure that they're not rubbing on anything. Make sure that they're not cracking or chafing. All right, and then they go to your pump. All right. Now this one does seem to be leaking a little bit right in here where the flashlight is pointing. But other than that, it's fairly good. We just had this thing out and replaced it. Plus replace turned the switch around for the turn the switch around for engaging and disengaging the PTO, which is this really dirty red thing right here. Make sure that it's not leaking in between the pump and the PTO and uh, yeah that's it for that next thing that we're going to be doing is checking out the hydraulic pressure and that's fairly simple to do all right so I got what this thing is called a flow meter and basically all you do is that you will hook up each end to a hose like this end here will go to that end there right now the truck is disabled so I can't really show how to actually read the whole entire flow and show you how to do it but basically all you would do is once you get once you get the truck running and you engage the PTO you would Loosen this up, and that would allow your flow, and then this would show, this gauge here, would show you your US gallons per minute. And this one up here will show you your pressure. Normally we go up to about 2,000 PSI, and then come down here and look at how many gallons per minute. Normally it should run at about 20 to 40 gallons per minute on this system here in order to run a special trailer which I'm about to show you all right this is this is one of the uh, special trailers that we have it's called a live bottom trailer <clears throat> and basically you, it would take the ho the hydraulic pressure that the truck sends out and basically puts it through these which runs the hole up underneath part of it let me get a better picture of it All right, so here's your trailer control valve here. It's got three pistons in it, and each piston controls a section of the floor. As you can see, there's cracks up underneath there. I'll show you a picture of the inside here in a little bit. But basically, whenever you engage the PTO and allow the trailer to move, 
these pistons would move and just behind there's other pistons and it controls one third of the floor so basically as this one's extending this one's retracting and this one over here is extending as well and then vice versa whenever these two are retracting on the outside the center one is extending it's kind of a really neat design basically the floor of the trailer pretty much looks the same as any other trailer All right, it's got these slats here. And it's basically every third one, all right? As this one goes back, these two are coming forward. And then as this one goes forward, these two are going back, and these two are going back as well. And this one right here will be going forward. And that is what allows chips and bark to be pushed out of the trailer without having the truck to go all the way up into the air and possibly fall. All right, thank you and have a wonderful day.